Have you ever wondered if the new space race is merely a technological feat or a politically charged battle? As we gaze up at the vast expanse of the cosmos, we're not just looking at stars and galaxies, we're also witnessing a new kind of contest, a fresh space race. But unlike the first one, this isn't just a two-horse race between superpowers. This time, it's a global competition, with countries and private companies alike jockeying for position. The new space race has drawn in all kinds of players, from the United States with SpaceX and Blue Origin, to China's National Space Agency, to Europe's Ariane Group, and even smaller players like India and the United Arab Emirates. And let's not forget about the billionaires who've thrown their hats in the ring, like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. Each one is pushing the boundaries of what's possible, striving to make their mark in the cosmos. This increased interest in space exploration isn't just about the scientific exploration, though that is certainly a significant part of it. It's also about power. Who can reach the stars first? Who can establish colonies on other planets? Who can mine asteroids for precious resources? These are the questions that underpin this new race to space. But there's more to it than that. The new space race is also about geopolitical power. It's about prestige and influence. It's about demonstrating technological prowess and asserting dominance. In many ways, the stars above us have become a stage for nations and corporations to display their capabilities and ambitions. But as we delve deeper into the cosmos, the stakes get higher. The rules of this new game are still being written, and the players are still figuring out their strategies. Space exploration is no longer just the domain of science fiction, it's becoming a very real and very serious arena for international competition. At the end of the day, the question remains, is space the new battleground? To understand the present, we must first delve into the past. And so, we journey back to the early 2000s, the dawn of the new space race. It was a time when the glimmers of a space renaissance began to shine brightly. The turn of the millennium saw the private sector stepping into the realms previously dominated by government agencies. This shift was punctuated by the emergence of SpaceX, founded by tech entrepreneur Elon Musk in the year 2002. SpaceX's mission was audacious, to say the least, to make space travel as common as air travel and to make humanity a multi-planetary species. But the new space race was not just a private affair. Just a few years after SpaceX's establishment, China, a rising global power, embarked on its ambitious lunar mission, Chang'e. In 2007, China successfully launched Chang'e, one, marking its first step towards lunar exploration. The mission not only demonstrated China's growing capabilities, but also signaled its intent to be a key player in space exploration. Meanwhile, the United States NASA was experiencing a resurgence of its own. After years of reliance on the space shuttle, NASA was ready to go beyond. The announcement of the Artemis program in 2019 promised a return to the moon and beyond. It was a bold statement that NASA was not yet ready to cede its position in the space race. The early 2000s were indeed a pivotal period in the history of space exploration. It was a time when the baton was passed from the governments to private entities, only to be shared again in a bid to conquer the final frontier. The stage was set, the players were ready, and the stakes were higher than ever. Indeed, the race was on, and the finish line was nowhere on Earth. In this new race to space, who holds the reins? Let's take a look at the key players in this cosmic contest. First off, we have the United States, a veteran in space exploration. With a rich history dating back to the Apollo missions, NASA is no stranger to the stars. Their recent goals have been ambitious, aiming to return humans to the moon through their Artemis program and ultimately, to set foot on Mars. Across the Pacific, China has been making waves in space. Their space agency, the CNSA, has gained significant traction over the past few years. Notably, in the summer of 2020, they launched the Tianwen-1, their first independent mission to Mars. They've also made headlines with their lunar exploration program, Chang'e, which aims to explore both the visible and dark sides of the moon. But it's not just nations that are in the race. Private companies are also vying for a piece of the cosmic pie. Enter SpaceX, Elon Musk's brainchild. With the successful launch of the Crew Dragon, SpaceX has proven that private companies can indeed send humans to space. Their goal? Nothing less than making life multiplanetary. And let's not forget Blue Origin, founded by none other than Amazon's Jeff Bezos. While they might be seen as the underdogs in this race, they're striving to build a future where millions of people can live and work in space. The New Shepard, their suborbital rocket, is a testament to this vision. Each player in this new space race has their own unique goals and achievements. 
Some are looking to explore the untouched corners of our solar system, while others are set on making space travel as commonplace as catching a flight to another country. So, who's in the lead? Well, it's not so much about who's first, but rather, about the collective strides we're making as a species. In the new space race, familiar players have re-emerged, but new ones are reshaping the game. It's an exciting time to be alive, folks, the stars are no longer out of reach. Space exploration has always been about more than just science. It's a grand chessboard where nations display their power, prestige, and technological prowess. As we venture deeper into the cosmos, the stakes are rising, and the game is becoming increasingly complex. The new space race brings with it a multitude of political implications. For starters, there's the issue of national security. As nations become capable of reaching farther into space, they also gain the ability to deploy satellites and other technologies that can be used for surveillance or even warfare. What happens if a nation chooses to weaponize space? The consequences could be dire and it's a concern that's prompting nations to rethink their defense strategies. Then there's the matter of international laws and treaties. Space is, in essence, a global commons. But as more nations and private companies venture into space, the need for comprehensive and enforceable laws becomes increasingly crucial. Who owns the resources found on distant planets or asteroids? How do we prevent conflicts over these resources from escalating into full-blown wars? The Outer Space Treaty of 1967, which governs international space law, prohibits nations from claiming celestial bodies as their own. But the treaty is vague on the issue of exploiting resources. As nations and corporations eye the vast wealth of minerals and other resources in space, this could become a major point of contention. The potential for conflict over resources is real. We've seen it on Earth over oil, land, and water. Space could be the next battleground, a frontier where nations vie for control over precious resources. The question is, can we learn from our past mistakes and find a way to share these resources equitably? Space exploration is not just about pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. It's also a strategic game, where the moves we make today will have far-reaching implications for our future. In this new frontier, the stakes are not only scientific, but also political. As we gaze upon the stars, what does the future hold for this new space race? A question that has become more significant than ever as we venture deeper into the 21st century. The future of the new space race is not confined to mere exploration. We are stepping into an era where space is poised to become the new frontier for industry and innovation. Space tourism, for instance, is no longer a fanciful dream. Companies are already offering tickets for trips to the edge of space, promising an experience that is literally out of this world. But with this comes a host of political considerations. Who will regulate this burgeoning industry? How will we ensure the safety of these new space tourists? And then, there's asteroid mining. A single asteroid could hold more precious metals than have ever been mined on Earth. The economic implications are staggering, but so are the political ones. Who has the right to these resources? How will profits be divided? These questions are pushing us to redefine our understanding of property rights and sovereignty, extending them beyond the confines of our planet. The colonization of other planets is perhaps the most ambitious goal in the new space race. Mars has always been a prime candidate, with its similarities to Earth making it a tantalizing prospect. But again, this raises profound political questions. Who will govern these new colonies? What laws will they follow? The answers to these questions could reshape our political systems and force us to rethink what it means to be a global or rather, a cosmic citizen. So as we stand at the dawn of this exciting new era, we are not just looking at a race to explore the cosmos. We are witnessing a race to redefine our political and economic systems, to extend our laws and our governance into the vastness of space. As we venture further into the cosmos, the new space race promises to redefine not only our technological capabilities, but also our political landscape.